Good day, everyone. Now that we have built our game in Unity, now let's create it as an executable. Before we build our game, we need to make sure that we have saved our scene. So make sure that this asterisk mark has actually gone away. So we save our scene. And then what we do is we go to File and Build Settings. <music> Now over here, what you, if you can see my screen, you'll see that there are various platforms for which you can build your game. You can build your PC for Mac, Linux, or Android. You can build for PS4 and various other things. For our, our purposes, we have, I have selected the target platform as Windows and the architecture as 86 architecture. What I will do is first add the open scene to the build setting. So by default, it adds the scene, role one, which is the scene that we're currently working on to the build settings. I've selected the Windows 86. And what I will do is then I'll click on build. Now it will ask me to select a folder. Now as a thumb rule, always create a new folder called as build so that the Various files that are created during the build are all put in one folder. So it's better to create a new folder always called as build where your entire build will be there. So I'll say select folder. It will take one to two, two, two minutes to actually build the entire game, depending on how complex your game is. Okay, now it has built the game. Now you'll see over here an executable called as role one. It's the same. Uh, it's the same executable named after your scene. Now, if I click on this old one, it is say made with Unity. So this is the game that we just made right now. So I can play it. In fact, I can do a lot more. I can add UI components to it, which we'll be covering at a later stage in our lectures. I can do a lot more. Where you can add terrains, you can add audio. You can order good, really good audio along with your game. So this is all that we will be next, seeing in our next lectures. So what we'll be looking in our upcoming lectures is what more features, what more that you can do with Unity. So we'll be looking at step by step, how do you add terrains, how do you add textures, lights, materials, shadows, how do you add particles like fireworks? How do you, so think about fireworks actually playing in the background of this game. So how do you add such kind of things? So from our next lecture onwards, you'll be looking at much more features that are available in Unity step-by-step. Step. Thank you very much.